The innervation of gluteal muscles arises from the sacral plexus. So there's L4 to S3 spinal cord levels, ventral rami, or the spinal nerves coming off, and then there's the sacral plexus. We're going to be focusing on the superior and inferior gluteal nerves. There's our superior gluteal nerves that come from L4, L5, and S1. The motor neuron cell bodies arise in the ventral horn, and then out of the ventral rami, they course into that superior gluteal nerve and innervate these three muscles, the medius, minimus, and TFL. Now, the superior gluteal nerve gets its name because they, this nerve courses above the piriformis, hence superior gluteal nerve. So in a nutshell, superior gluteal nerve comes from the L4 to S1 levels of the spinal cord, innervate the gluteus medius, minimus, and TFL, and course above the piriformis. And the superior gluteal nerve comes above the piriformis, and then it sends nerve fibers to innervate the gluteus medius, nerve fibers to innervate the gluteus minimus, and a nerve fiber to innervate the TFL. All right, now the inferior gluteal nerve, this nerve, um, is going to arise from L5 to S2 levels. The, the motor neuron cell bodies arise in the ventral horn of the spinal cord, come out the ventral rami, and go into the inferior gluteal nerve. And this only innervates one muscle, the gluteus maximus. And so there's our piriformis, and the inferior gluteal nerve gets its name because it exits below the piriformis muscle to go to innervate the gluteus maximus. All right, so... In inferior gluteal nerve is below the piriformis, arises from the L5 to S2 levels, and innervates the gluteus maximus. And the inferior gluteal nerve courses below the piriformis to innervate the gluteus maximus muscle.